Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. And uh, this is a new Java FX video tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we will see the implementation of a viewport method. And this is very useful method to work with image view. Suppose you have a big image, a full image, but you don't want to display the complete image. And your target is to display the particular section or the particular area of that image. Suppose on the left hand side you can see the example in which I have displayed the upper section of the image in which I want to focus and display inside the image view. In that case you guys have to uh, use a external image editing tool and you will uh, alter this image and then you will use in the image view. And uh, in similar way if you want to display on the bottom section or a particular lower section of the image that I have displayed in the second image view. So this thing can be achieved without editing the image. So there is a method viewport which is very useful uh, provided by the class image view. With the example and with this demonstration image I will explain you what we are trying to do and what we have done it. So this is a demonstration uh, for the viewport which is the method of image view class and uh, very simple as you can see this is a black rectangle the complete full rectangle which is representing an image which is full image and then this is the black rectangle and this is representing the full image in case you want to display a upper section a particular section of the image in which you have some details and you want to display only those details inside the image view then this viewport method will help you at this place in such a way if you don't want to display the upper section and you need to display only the lower part of the image then viewport can help you right here only two lines of code required to do this in a similar way you have a very have a full image but you don't want to display other details on the image and you need to focus on the center part of the image the particular area of that image then you can display that with the help of this viewport method so here we will see the use of and the implementation of the viewport in this video tutorial session okay I hope you guys understand the basic what we are going to do okay great now inside the NetBeans ID I have already prepared one example and this is the FXML based project. Most of the time I use FXML based project and this is the image that we are using right here in this example. So the image dimension 4000 by 3000 pixels. Okay and uh, this is FXML so first I will show you this FXML. So the arrangement required to do that very simple arrangement only the image view I have used in this example and uh, you can see this is the XML FXML design. So on the right hand side uh, right hand side I have used the full size image view for uh, putting our full image of dimension 4000 by 3000 and uh, this is the image view one to display the upper section of the image and the upper portion of the image so assigned FX ID to this one as well and this is the another image view in which we want to display only the lower part of the image and the FX ID also assigned to this image view as well only these things used inside this FXML I hope this is clear now I am going to close this and we are moving inside the NetBeans ID there we will see the coding inside the controller file okay let me open this file okay this is the controller file in which we have the actual code very simple statements image view this is, these are the FX IDs and that will hold the objects at the of initialization of the FXML so we will use this reference variables inside this controller and this is a string variable which is holding the path of the image that we are going to use this is our image sample.jpg and uh, moving inside the main area so we have to do a coding inside the initialize method now I will explain what we have done here okay going back to here uh, this image so 
our first target we want to display the upper section of that area the rectangle area of the image to do that we have created one image object by passing the image URL and uh, there's another image object created with the same image URL okay after that using the set image method and passing this image object to set image inside the image view because the image view is a container and uh, this is a simple method set preserve ratio to display the height and width properly and maintaining the ratio with the help of this method and this is uh, for applying the filter set smooth for the proper and a smooth display of the image and the main line of code is here we have to create a rectangle because we have to select that particular area that we want to display only inside the image view so we have to create one rectangle 2d object with the help of this constructor so here we have to give these arguments first one is the position coordinate x and the second argument is position coordinate y now let me sh show you this image so suppose I'm trying to create this rectangle in this uh, image inside this is in green color so x and y will represent the position coordinate of this corner this point the starting point of this rectangle okay I hope this is clear so this is the x y position and then we have to give the height and width of the rectangle so next two arguments are width and height respectively so first one is width and second one is height very simple so we have to give the rectangle width then we have to give the rectangle height and we have to understand first the full width with respect to full width of the image so image size is 4000 by 3000 so we can give the these arguments value uh, in the range with respect to the full image so suppose this is the full image so I have uh, created a rectangle which is representing 4000 by 3000 at the time of giving the value of width you have to finally check the complete width of the image with respect to that you have to give the value less than the width of the image if you give a width larger than no problem that will be set by the set preserve ratio method that we have uh, specified at line number 44 so I am doing a little bit modification so right now I'm on the x-axis at 50 pixel after that remaining pixels are 3950 because the total width is uh, 4000 pixel okay and the height is given 1500 pixel so this rectangle will be formed and uh, this will display only the upper part of the image as you defined the rectangle so the only that portion will be displayed inside the image view further we have to use image view dot set viewport method then pass this rectangle 2d as a argument in this method simple and easy that is done the same thing I have done for the lower part of the image that has been displayed inside the second image view only thing you have to understand is creation of rectangle now you can see at line number 56 another rectangle is formed and uh, which is selecting the lower part of the image so this is marked as a blue line blue rectangle the lower section this is representing the lower section so in such a case when you need to display the lower part of the image so in this way we have to create the rectangle 2d object and this will be used further inside the method set viewport and we have done the code for the second image view and uh, this code is for the image view 3 which is uh, showing the complete image so this is done I have done a bit changes so I will take a clean build of this project then I will run it again okay now I'm going to run this these two lines are the most important for this implementation okay now ready to run 
okay here we are the stage is open now now you can see the first rectangle we have created for the first image view in which we are displaying the top portion of the image so our image is started from the rectangle started from the 800 pixel from the top and the 50 pixels away from the left on the x-axis okay so rectangle is displaying this portion of the main image in this first image view the same way the second rectangle which is formed to display the bottom portion of the image okay so 50 pixels away from the left on x axis and 1400 pixels from the top on y axis so image selection has been done with the basis of rectangle and that is displayed inside this second image view this viewport is very useful method when we are working with image view i hope you guys found this video useful if you have doubt so please ask in the comment box i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help